high school, I started a photography school. Um, but actually, I, I did several art schools because I was not always satisfied with the school and I was maybe a bit restless, always finding my way. So I did a photography school. I did two years of film academy. I did an art school in Amsterdam. And then I uh, asked for a transfer. Uh, and I did an art school in Pittsburgh, USA for two years. And so when I was finished with that, I moved back to Amsterdam and started a career in photography. So right now I divide my time between photography uh, assignments and personal projects and can be either in film or photography. Uh, no, I don't find it hard to combine uh, commercial work with personal projects because I see them all as a project. So I just find time to do either the one or the other or both, probably not on the same day, but I just... Um, see it as a, a project that you're working on. The Perfect Pearl is a multimedia project and um, it's not completely documentary and it's not completely fictional either. It's about love and uh, or the concept of love. And I will be um, focusing on young people in China, uh, girls specifically, and asking them their first uh, love experience and when they fell in love for the first time and how that made them, made them feel. title. It refers to a saying that I heard in China when I was there. I heard someone say that um, when you're over 25 uh, as a girl and you're not married yet, you're considered a faded pearl. And my title refers to actually the picture perfect and uh, the perfect life you want to create for yourself when you uh, grow up. You want to be the most beautiful uh, woman with the most beautiful job, house and everything, etc. But um, can that really happen, actually? It's about castles in the sky and future dreams. So I will be combining uh, real images and uh, make-believe images, documentary and fictional in a way, like in real buildings, but also um, miniature model buildings. real parks and model parks. So constructing a world that's dreamlike and um, made up as a setting for uh, the real stories of the young people and their dreams. I think uh, now the what they call the millennials and the, the young people in China, I think it's a very interesting generation. Um, there's a huge generation gap already, in, especially in China. But since the digital revolution, um, the gap is even larger. Um, and I think this generation will really make a difference in the society. And at first I didn't really see that much difference in the way their appearance or um, what they wanted from life, but if you really talk to uh, young people in China, you do see that they're under a lot of pressure, being it from society, how they how society wants them to be, or from their parents, they have to have the the best study and the best uh, wedding and the best job. So, they're yeah, I think they're they're under a lot of pressure, but they're going to make a difference. That's what I think. 
my last project was a film for Dutch television about uh, young people who write each other love letters, handwritten love letters. And um, with this in mind, um, I wanted to do more with intimacy and young people. And I decided to do an artist in residence in, and I went to China. I could stay there for five months and uh, it was really good to have all this time to work on one project and to uh, really develop something from scratch. Uh, the people I met in uh, China, in Shaman, where I was in residency, in the university or um, in the galleries, uh, the young people I was talking to and all the, the whole environment. Uh, there were a lot, lots of weddings taking place every day. So it's a very romantic city. This all inspired me to uh, make the perfect pearl. For me, photography and film go very well together. Um, it has a different way of working and a different approach in editing, but uh, they are both visual uh, ways of communicating. And um, I wanted to explore more the suggestive narrative in a story. Um, and w if I would have used only film, it would be very linear and maybe too forced. And with phot only photography, I was missing the, the sound and uh, the personal stories um, in text. And I, I really think this project and how I wanted to come across uh, needed both. Projects like this really need time to develop. Um, it's a combination between intuitive photography and storytelling and design. And I think the most important thing is that you have to ask yourself, what is the story I want to bring across and how will I present it? And you can tell stories in so many different ways. And um, this project has several and different ingredients that together suggest a narrative because I want to have the viewer to be able to contemplate and uh, discover in his or her own way. I'm in the final phase now of this project, which means that I'm going to um, edit all the pictures and um, start editing the film and think about how to present everything together. I don't really have a set idea yet uh, how it will B in the end, but I do have some ideas. It will probably be uh, photographs in different sizes and a projection uh, of a film, but also uh, smaller video cases where a viewer can be one-on-one -on -one with the video. Uh, right now I'm uh, doing research for a new documentary feature film, and it's about the power of imagination and will be a very visual film. I guess you could say that dreams and imagination are a reoccurring theme in all my work. I'm also working on a new photography series, a series of still lives inspired by the Dutch classical still life genre, um, and where I use everyday objects from my house. And I'd like to give attention to the hidden stories in objects. And it's also about where you place them. And I'm looking for a kind of attention in the pictures.